Hi, this is Hank Kim, Executive Director and Counsel for the National Conference on Public Employee Retirement Systems. This is the video blog for the work week of April 22nd. Last week, a hedge fund manager by the name of Dan Loeb was scheduled to make a presentation here in Washington, D.C. at a conference for institutional investors. Prior to uh, the conference, uh, th through uh, some blogging and um, pick up by uh, some media outlets, it was made known that Dan Loeb and his uh, hedge fund were involved in a number of organizations that had anti-public employee pension positions, specifically organizations like the Manhattan Institute and Students First New York. Both of those organizations have very explicit anti-public employee pension uh, positions and have been out advocating for conversion to define contributions for public employees. Uh, through engagement with the American Federation of Teachers, um, the president of AFT reached out to Dan Loeb and requested that in conjunction with his presentation at this conference that uh, he would clarify his position in support of defined benefit pension plans because his f hedge fund largely relies on public plans and other institutional investors as investors for his business. And um, it is for the AFT as well as NCPERS and others who are in the public plan community, very hypocritical for those who live off of uh, public plans to then turn around and advocate for uh, its ultimate demise. The long story short is that uh, when exposed and when media scrutiny came to bear on uh, Dan Loeb, he ultimately backed out. But I think it is a lesson learned for the public plan community, which is we need to be very careful of who our business partners are. And I think it is incumbent upon all uh, public plans and other institutional investors to make sure that uh, those who we do business with um, are at a very minimum neutral to the position of whether public employees should have a defined benefit pension plan, but at, uh, at, at best in support of uh, defined benefit pension plans for teachers, police officers, firefighters, and other public employees. So this is, I'm sure, just the first um, instance uh, of this. I, I think with the media coverage around um, Dan Lowe backing out and, and uh, uh, other uh, entities along these lines, um, I, I think uh, this is only bound to continue. So I know f uh, that NCPER certainly will be keeping an eye on it and making uh, encouragements to our members to scrutinize all the managers and other uh, plan service providers to make sure that they are, um, n you know, not using plan asset or, or you know, the, the profits generate from plan assets to ultimately turn around and advocate for their demise. So stay tuned and